Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be opening up the Paldea Evolved booster box, which I did get early and funny story, I actually already opened one and I recorded it, but uh, this video ended up being over an hour long and I did not feel like editing an hour long video. So I decided to go buy another one and I'm gonna record it again, hopefully speed things up, make things a little bit more snappier. That way I can at least make it 30 minutes, I'm hoping, and I can edit that down to maybe 20 minutes or something like that. But yeah, we got a booster box, I'm gonna open it up. I'm excited that I was able to get these early from my shop, that they, they were able to sell them to the public. A few days early, this comes out on the 9th, and I picked mine up fifth, well, the one that I unboxed yesterday. Today's the sixth, so this is, will be my second booster box. And I did get a booklet here. Uh, I didn't get an ETB because I'm still getting my ETB from the Pokemon Center since I am getting the uh, Pokemon Center exclusive. So the reason I got the booklet though, I got this one from somebody else that was opening an ETB in the shop is because I just wanna go ahead and show you guys which cards I plan to collect and put in my Scarlet and Violet Binder, which is back there. Um, when we're done pulling all of our cards, I will show you guys what my Scarlet and Violet era binder looks like. So. Let me show you guys everything that I plan to collect from this Paldea Evolve set. So everything that has a circle, those are the ones that I plan to collect. So we got the Fortress EX, the Mioscarada EX. As you can see, most of them are gonna be EXs, but there are a few exceptions where just like the standard cards, I love the artwork for like this Taurus. So I definitely wanna add that to the binder. Um, we got the Skeledurge EX, the Chiyu EX, Gyarados, this is another one that's not an EX. Uh, we got Quackavel EX, my least favorite of the starters, as it was for most people. Uh, we got the Chin Pao, which I love that card. I was able to thankfully pull one, so if we pull any more, I can use it for my deck, since I do also play the TCG now. Uh, we got the Pikachu, love that artwork. I'm still missing the Pikachu EX. So yeah, anything that has an X, obviously, I already pulled, and it is already in my Scarlet and Violet binder back there. Uh, we got the Slow King EX, the Den... De, I don't know how to pronounce that. The Dedene? The Dedene de EX? I always want to say Dendene, but it doesn't have an N in there. It's just Dedene. Dedene. It's such a weird, weird, weird name. Um, Lycanroc EX. Uh, continuing on here, we got the Cloud Sire. The Neuvern EX, which that guy is currently in my Dragon deck. I love my Dragon deck. I think it's currently, it might beat out uh, Down Dozo as my favorite deck. We got Squawkabilly EX. And then that's it for these cards. We're now going into the illustration rares. So a bunch of cards here. I had initially circled this one because I had pulled it from my from my Triple Beat box, which was the Japanese version. But I forgot that I actually traded it out because I didn't like the artwork. So I am actually, I'm actually not gonna include this one in my binder since I don't no longer have it. And if I do pull it, I I don't like the artwork for that one, so I'm just not gonna not gonna put it in the binder. But everything that is circled, I love the artwork for, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. Especially the Sprigatito line, any of the starter lines, I'm gonna have all of those. Uh, this one, Bramlin, I was going back and forth on, but ultimately. I like the artwork, even though I don't love the Pokemon, I think the artwork here is pretty cool. Reminds me of Halloween for some reason, so yeah, I do want to add that one to the binder. Man, what is up with the focus? It keeps going in and out of focus. But yeah, I do like this Fletchinger, that Pyroar, I already pulled that one, love that card, it reminds me of the Lion King. Uh, we got the Fire Line right here with Fuecoco, the Magic Carp. beautiful card. Glad that I pulled the Japanese version of that one. Wouldn't mind pulling a few more in English uh, for my Gyarados deck. I actually. I think I only need one. So if I can put one in English, that would be awesome. So I can put it in one of my decks. Uh, we got the rest of these. Love this line right here. I'm gonna need a couple of these because I do plan to build a Backscalibur deck. The Raichu, that's a beautiful card. Love that one. Uh, Miss Vegas, Gotharita. We got the Sandy Gas, which I love that card because for some reason it reminds me of Toy Story 3. Anybody else get those vibes? Like the playground scene? I don't know. It reminds me of, I originally wasn't going to collect it, but when I saw it closely, I was like, you know what? I do like the artwork. It reminds me of Toy Story 3. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the collection. Definitely a lot more illustration rares are going into the collection from Paldea Evolved compared to Scarlet and Violet. So I will show you guys again in my binder at the end of the video. Uh, so we got all of these as well. Uh, we got the starter full arts right here. This Chen Pao, I've seen that one in person. The background looks so beautiful in that card. I hope I can pull one of those today for you guys so you guys can see it. 
um we got the belly boat which i'm not in, i'm not collecting the regular ex because i don't love it but i do like this one i love the green and the yellow background this one actually looks pretty cute so i'm gonna be collecting the full art for that one uh we got the annihilate which i loved him in the game so i definitely want to collect the full art uh the neuvern full art i need one of these i'd rather i would I would rather put one of these in the deck than the regular EX, which I currently have in one of my decks. Uh, continuing, we got the trainers now. For trainers, you guys know, I just collect the waifus. Although I am making an exception here for Grusha. That is not a female, but it looks like a female and it could fool anybody. And I like the artwork for it. So yeah, I'm gonna collect those put that in the binder even though it's not technically a waifu and then of course the iono soup i'm hoping i can pull like 10 of these which that will be impossible but if i can at least pull a few one for the binder that would make me super happy meowscarada probably my favorite card from the entire set has to be this meowscarada such a beautiful card such a beautiful pokemon love that one so from here on out these are all of the special illustration rares so, which i will be wanting to collect every single one of the pokemon um so all the pokemon i want all these special illustration rares so far i only have one so i need quite a bit um and then not all of the special illustration rares for the trainers are needed but i did circle the ones that i do want right there as as you guys know all the waifus this iono card though honestly contender man that 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 Iono and the Meowscarada, both beautiful cards. And I don't know, now that I'm looking at them, I love the colors and like the vibe of this one. So I might like this one more than this one, but we'll see. I'd have to pull both of them and look at them next to each other because a picture just doesn't do these cards justice. When you see them in person, all the texturing, all the colors, all the foil, it just looks way different. And that's when you can really tell what your favorite card is. Um, so continuing on, we got the gold cards. We got the Meowscarada. The Skeledurge, thankfully I have both of those. The only one I'm missing now is the Quackavel Chin Pao, and I don't plan to collect this one since I don't care for that Pokemon. Um, and then we got the, um, that's it, that's it. That's all what I plan to collect. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the booster box. We're gonna do the same thing that I did yesterday. We're gonna do left versus right. Let me know in the comment sections down below, which one do you think, which one do you guys think will have better pulls, left all right comment down below and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the left hand side like we did yesterday i personally i'm gonna vote for the right hand side even though the left hand side actually won yesterday i'm still gonna vote for the right hand side just because i always go right so let's see let's see let's see if i'm right today i was totally wrong yesterday left hand destroyed the right hand side all right now we definitely we need to fix fix this focus issue it keeps going in and out of focus and i don't know how to fix it hopefully it's not too big of an issue as we continue so we got those these are the reverse hollows and the mimic you as our first pool um so this is actually a pretty playable card so i'm going to put that over here all my playable cards i'm going to put on the right uh the non-playable cards i am separating them with non-hollow my reverse hollows and then we'll put all of the hits here in the center so let's continue with the next pack See what we get here. All right, here's the reverse hollows and a spirit bomb. I don't think I pulled one of these yesterday and this one is a very good card. The ability there, very good. Both basic Pokemon V and play, both yours and your opponent have no abilities. So a lot of Vs have a lot of abilities. So this will definitely shut those off and it doesn't even need to be in the active spot, which is great. So this will definitely be a staple in a lot of decks, including maybe some of my own. So I'm gonna put it here on the right where my playable cards go. That's the cool thing about like not just collecting but also playing is that you find a lot more cards um, that are useful than if you were just collecting and then you also get multiples like this Dendra. This is a good draw card. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck if you do draw until you have five cards in your hand. Honestly not the best draw card in my opinion so I don't know if I will use this but for now I know most some people will so I'm gonna put it here if anything I can use it as a trade or something one day. Uh, we got the Oricorio. And man, still no pools. We're what? That's like the third pack, right? Come on. Please be a better box than yesterday's box because yesterday's box, not gonna lie, wasn't wasn't the best. Oh, by the way, 
I do want to build a Tinka Ton deck, so I'm going to put that over here in my playable side. Uh, we got the Voltorb, Whopper, and Tinka Ton. So we got, oh, this is not the one that I want though. I probably want to build, well, I'm probably going to include both, but I do need the EX. I don't think we've pulled the EX yet. Um, the Tinka Ton EX, that is. We only get the full art in this set. The regular EX is going to be um, part of an EX deck that comes out later. So it's going to be kind of hard right now to try and get those full art um, Tinka Ton EX cards. A Frigabix, I need that one for my uh, Bax Calibur deck. So I'm going to put that one over here. Same thing with Crocolore. I do plan to build, build a Skeledurge deck as well. The only deck I don't really plan on building right now is uh, a Quackaville, like the water one. Um, I don't know. Just just don't feel like it <laughs> and talking about him here he is he, he heard us talking about him he's like what the heck now i'm not going to give you any hits in my pack but we'll see we're due for a hit so i have a feeling he is going to give us a hit let's go let's go slowly here Lit leo rock rough palmy pupitar faulkner Seviper. all right magic harp don't love this artwork on this magic carp. I much prefer the artwork in the original Scarlet and Violet set. Um, so I'm not gonna put that in the binder. Watrell. And do we get a hit? No, another just regular hollow card. Sableye. Don't plan to put that in any deck, so we'll put that over there. Alright, this is kind of crazy. Um, that is like what over five packs now. So far, I guess it's looking good for the right hand side. That's what I was hoping for, right? So we're gonna put Sprigatito over here. And Calamitous Snowy Mountain. I, I do like that card. I think I, whoop, I think we got a hit here. We finally have a hit. So let's see what we get. Yes, Chin Pal. Like I said, I pulled this one yesterday, but I don't mind pulling it again because I am gonna be building a deck out of this. So we're gonna put this one here in the middle. It's our first hit. Let's go ahead and sleeve them up. Grab my, my Mew sleeves from a Fusion Strike ETB I opened a while back. All right, so now I just need, I think I need two more, two more. I think we need three in a deck. Maybe you could go with four. Uh, let's just get the whole place in. Let's try and aim for four. I know we're not probably gonna get them in this deck unless I also pull the full art. That would be awesome because that full art is beautiful. Luminous energy, very good energy because it provides one of any energy as long as you don't have another special energy attached to this one. So that is pretty cool. We will add that here to the right. And wait, nope, well, let's see, do we get another hit here? No, we're back to, to no hits here. All right, uh, we're about halfway through the left hand side and only one hit. Hopefully that means the right hand side is stacked with hits. We did get quite a few hits yesterday. I think we got in total about 13, 14 hits, which is great. I was expecting like just 10 hits per box. Um, so 13 was awesome. I'm hoping we can get the same today, but it's looking like we, we might get a lot less uh, because we definitely had way more hits yesterday as compared to today by this point. Um, this this deck might be interesting. Um, I did play this guy during the pre-release, and this guy does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has United Wings. So there's three other Pokemon that have that ability. So yeah, definitely an interesting one. I might consider building it at some point just for fun. So I'm gonna put him over here to the right, and I will try to point out if I remember. Oh, here's another one. If I remember which ones have that ability. So this is another Pokemon that has the United Wings ability. So you can only have four per card, so I need at least four of each of those to maximize that attack right there. Pelipper, and we got the Reverse Hollow Brigibex, which we definitely need, and a Palmot. So still no hits. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Let's see what we get here. Fuite Coco. We got a great ball which oh we got dendra look at that that is definitely a good pool and that this is what i mean guys when you see these cards in person they just look so much nicer i'm gonna try and just move it around so you guys can get the full effect of how just how beautiful this card looks look at all the texturing you can see all the little lines 
It just looks beautiful. Super happy about this pull. I think this is like a at least a $20, $30 card right here. And Dendra, her ability is you can put a card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw it until you have five cards in your hand. We already talked about her earlier, so not, a, not the greatest card like I mentioned, but beautiful. So glad we pulled that one. And then we just get a regular hollow here. No double hit, unfortunately. So definitely need to sleeve this one up. This one will be going into the binder since I don't plan to play with this one. Two hits, two hits so far. Happy though, I'm happy with those two hits so far. So even though if we don't get a lot of hits, if we get good hits, I will be a happy, happy collector, happy player of Pokemon. Just a happy Pokemon collector. All right, so we get a, we do get an Arctabax, which is good because I already have this one in the binder, which means I can start adding these beautiful like illustration rare cards in my deck. So that is a good pool. And again, we had the possibility of getting a double hit here, but no, we got another just regular holo card here. Will we, be, will we be able to pull a double hit pack here? We pulled only one yesterday. I know sometimes you can get more than one in a booster box. All right, what do we got here? Nothing here though. Come on, we gotta get at least one more hit here. Super Rod, that one might be good. This one here, a very interesting card because once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your opponent's deck and put one of them back, put the other card at the bottom of their deck. So if they have one good card, one bad card, you can just kind of control the game like that. It might also work well with his ability. So definitely a card to look out for. So I might I might put that one over here. I like building kind of fun, funky decks like that, like my Dondozo deck. Not many people play Dondozo, but I definitely like to play Dondozo. So we got another Arctibax. So we will put that over here. We got Luxio. Taurus and a boss's order. Boss's orders are always good, so we'll put that over here to the right. All right, last three packs. We got a Chin Pal here. Hopefully, you can give us some good luck. And oh, I think I just see a regular holo card. Ooh, Artazone. This is actually a really good card. Once during your turn, that player may search their deck for a basic Pokemon that doesn't have a roll box and put it onto their bench. This will definitely help out my Dondozo deck. So I might put that one in my deck. Kilowattro? That's a pretty cool name. Kilo, like Kilowatt. And it's an electric type. I like it. Uh, but during your next turn, this, player, this, this Pokemon can attack. Not the greatest attacker, so probably won't include that in any deck. And we got a Gyarados. Beautiful card, but I already have one and I don't plan to play with it, so kind of useless now. Uh, the other Gyarados, the Gyarados EX is the much better Gyarados, so no reason to, to play with that one. All right. Ooh, Clavel. Clavel, Clavel is good. So is Giacomo because he can discard a special energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. So if you're playing against a Lugia, all they have are special energy. So this allows you to, if you have like two or three of these in your hand, imagine that would be crazy. They just fill up all of their Pokemon and then you can just discard all of their energies. That would be awesome if you had like two or three of these in your hand. Man, I was just thinking about that. That's very good against Lugia. Might have to think about putting at least a few of those in some, some of my decks. And we got the Lycanroc EX. Unfortunately, I already pulled this one and I don't plan to build any decks around this card. I don't think so. So yeah, kind of useless, kind of useless. First hit that I'm actually kind of uh, not too happy about. <laughs> All right, oh no, two, two more packs. I thought this was the last one. We got Meowscarada and then we have a, a Skeledurge pack back there. I haven't been paying attention. I don't know if I've been putting aside all the like pre-evolution Pokemon that I plan to build decks out of. We got Luminous Energy, Therapeutic Energy. This was probably this one's probably the worst energy of the bunch that's in this um, set. I probably won't be using that one. Dano and ah, I literally just traded this one because like I don't know if you guys saw, but I I don't plan to collect this one, and I traded for a Clavel Full Art for my Dondozo deck um, on on Monday. So now I have another one that I can trade as well. It's about a four or five dollar card right now. So 
pretty good for trades like that. Um, so yeah, I won't put it in my binder, but it's good for trading because I know some people, I think, do plan to build decks around around this guy right here. Is he any good? Let's, let's check. I haven't really looked at it. <laughs> as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play that have any damage counters on them have no abilities except for Pokemon EX. Okay, so if you're playing against a, po a guy that has a Pokemon EX, it might not be good, but any other type, pretty good. Um, if they have abilities, which most good cards do. Uh, Land Scoop, 150, put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I can see, I mean, the attack's not great, but it's pretty good that it also lets you put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. But I don't think it's that good enough for me, at least. So, put him there. Definitely will be trading that off. And last pack on the left. Seems all of our big hits... <coughs> seems all of our big hits are going to be on the right-hand side. So I was right today. The right will probably take the W today. We got a Mankey, Sprigatito, and yeah, just a regular Obama Snow. So, wow, only one, two, three, four, five hits on this side. Wow. Yesterday, I think we had eight, eight, no, I think we had eight hits on the left and seven hits on the right. Or it could have been seven or six. I just know the left hand side had one more than the other side. But I'm pretty sure it was eight and seven, which is crazy. That means we had 15 hits. That, that was a crazy box yesterday. Hopefully we have a bunch here. Let's get into it and let's see what we get here on the right hand side. Gotta go a little bit faster. I feel like I'm starting to slow down a bit. Uh, we got Arctibax, gonna put him over here. Giacomo, definitely need that as I've already talked about it. And we got this guy, which probably put him here on the left. We've seen, I think we've seen most of the good cards, so I don't need to talk about them too much anymore. Put that over here, put that over here, put that over here. Uh, and then we got two reverse hollows and a regular hollow. Put these guys over here. There is a Pokemon that I haven't talked about though. I will make sure to kind of slow down a little bit and talk about it if I need to. Okay, reverse hollow, reverse hollow. And, ooh, okay. I do, I do want to collect this one just because this one looks pretty cool, but it is another Lycan rock. So not too exciting, but I do need it for the binder. Looks pretty cool. I do like the look of Lycan Rock. He looks like a pretty dang cool Pokemon, especially because I love dogs. All right, so we're going to put that hit right there on the right hand side. And we got Delivery Drone. This was a really weird Pokemon card. Like now there's drones in Pokemon, but flip two coins. If both of them are heads, search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. I don't like these when you have to like flip coins. Flipping one is fine, so I understand uh, the card that the Mew decks use, but flipping two and both of them having to be heads, I feel like the odds are just not in your favor with this card. Not a good card in my opinion. And then we got a skew. Ooh, we got the Dunsparce. Is this gonna be our first double hit pack? Beautiful card, by the way, love it. I love how it has all these other Pokemon in the background. We got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven? Is that another Pokemon? No, I think that's a berry. So we got six different Pokemon in one card. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool card. And no, we just got the Tyranitar, which is not a great Tyranitar. I don't love this one, but I do love the full art, which hopefully we can pull that. If we could pull that, that would make me one happy, happy Pokemon collector today. All right, let's leave this guy up. Put him in the right hand side. Still got a bit of packs to go, so I think we're doing good. We have five, seven hits so far. I would be happy with at least 10. As long as we can reach 10 hits, I'd be happy. And just like that, we get an Iono. That card over here. We got a Flamigo and a Cerulege. Love the artwork on here, but I didn't put the Armor Rouge. Uh, regular holo card in my Scarlet and Violet binder. So I'm not gonna put this one. I'm hoping in the future they will make an illustration rare of this Pokemon because this is such a cool looking Pokemon. Love both this guy and Arbor Rouge. They're, they're just awesome looking. Remind me of Mega Man. All right, continuing on. Clavel, good. Ooh, our first reversal energy. This is a very good card. 
just like the other luminous energy this one provides three of any type but you do have to i think you have to discard no you don't have to discard but it, you, you do have to make sure that you have less you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent so as long as that's true you can attach this to any Pokemon. But if you play it a little bit too early, and if you do go to less prize cards than your opponent, then it becomes kind of useless and you still have to attach energies. Um, so you have to, oh, we got another reverse Hollow Iono. You kind of have to make sure to play it at the right time. Palmot, and I put this guy in the wrong spot. There you go. Ah, this one's giving me a hard time. There we go. We're at about 30 minutes of recording right now, and I'm almost done, but I still need to go over my binder which is not good. And we got a Skeledurge EX. And this is the first Skeledurge EX that I have spared for one of my decks. So happy with this pool right here. Let's hurry it up. Don't want this video to be too long either. Tinka Tough. I think this is the first Tinka Tough we've seen. Bravery Charm. I do like this card because it provides 50 plus HP for my Don Dozo. So putting that over here, Gothrita, Primeape. I do plan to build an Annihilate date maybe at some point. Ah, drop the pack. Ooh, that's our first Taros. We haven't seen many today, but beautiful artwork. You guys can see it right there. It reminds me of some, one of the beasts in Elden Ring. I forget the name of it, but it reminds me of it. It looks so cool. I love like these red things on the forehead looks so awesome such a cool iteration of taros uh Florigato, and nothing here oh murkrow we'll put over here and weevil over here we're still missing a gold card and our special illustration rare two gold stars is our special illustration rare i hope we i'm i i thought it was guaranteed to have a special illustration oh there's our gold card not a bad gold card. We got Meowskarada EX. Since I already have the Japanese version in my binder, that means I can put this beautiful card in my deck, which I definitely plan to build a Meowskarada EX deck. Love to see this right here. Beautiful card. Look at the swirl behind Meowskarada in the background. Such a beautiful card. And really cool ability. Discard a basic grass type, and you can put three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So very, very good. And we also get a Spirit Tomb, so not bad. Definitely need to sleeve this up though. I'm gonna put this over here, this here, and let's be very careful with Mioscarada. Definitely a better gold card than yesterday. Yesterday we got the Super Rod as our gold card. Which you won't see that in my binder because that was not a card that I planned to put in my binder. All right, we got Delivery Drone, nothing here. Tinka Tough. Oh wait, Tinka Tough. We'll put you over here. And that dude. We got about six packs remaining, maybe seven. If I can count them right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is seven. All right. Ooh, Grusha. We got Grusha. Um, Noibat, Sableye, and Orthworm. Ooh, another Reversal Energy. Love to see those. Jet Energy. This one is also very good because if you attach it from your hand to one of your Pokemon that's on the bench, you can put it in the active spot. So that I can see this being a very useful card. Definitely plan to use that <laughs> in a few decks, probably. All right, Pikachu. Fue Coco, we need you over here. Uh, Crocolore, we need you over here. And wow, we spilled like three at this point. Three spirit tombs. Slake, Slaking, and that's gonna do it. Three more packs after this one. Down to the last straw. And already I would say that the right is definitely better than the left because we pulled that gold Mielscarada card. Now if only we could pull the Mielscarada special as our special illustration rare, that would be pretty awesome. Choice belt is good. Uh, not this, not this. And Luxray is good. So I'm gonna put him over here. Oh, we got, wait, we got two, uh, 
We got two full arts of our trainers. I thought you were only supposed to get one per booster box, but nice, we got two of the ones that we wanted. Oh, well, I, I mean, Iona would have been awesome, but I'm happy with Grusha and Dendra. We now just need Iono for the full arts, I think. And then we still need all of their special illustration rares, though, which are going to be way harder to pull. Maybe we can get one today, though. We'll see. Beautiful card, though. Another awesome. What do we pull again? We pulled the Dendro, right? Where'd you go? Yes. So we got Dendra and Grusha full arts. I think I, think I like the Grusha more uh, just because I love the background. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. And I love the scarf as well. So we're going to put this guy in a sleeve. And we'll put you right there. Are we going to get a... Are we not going to get a special illustration rare? I'm going to be so sad because... Maybe because we got two full art trainers, we might not get a special illustration. I wonder if that's how they're doing it. Bravery charm. Okay, we got something here. We got... Okay, it's just a one gold star, so it's just a regular illustration rare. We got Fletchinder. We haven't gotten many of these today, honestly. Uh, we got Fletchinder, so that's very cool. And then we got Glimora here on the back. Put you here. Let's sleeve this guy up. And come on, we need our special illustration rare. This box is gonna suck without a special illustration rare. It's gonna make me sad if we don't pull it. I have a feeling we're not gonna pull it, guys. For us to have to wait till the last pack. I don't have a good feeling about this. Let's go one by one. Kufent. Crowagunk. Setoodle. Pelipper. Fletchinder. What's the other one? This one is the much superior card. Uh, Vigoroth. Tropius. Reversal Energy Reverse Hollow, and no, wait, no, it's just a regular EX. Damn it, but it is one that I needed, but it sucks we did not get a special illustration rare in this booster box. So you guys saw it's not guaranteed. Somebody at the, at the TCG was telling me that they're guaranteed in every box, but I guess not. <sighs> it's okay. We still got some good stuff, especially the two full art trainers. So on the right, we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. And what was it on the left? Seven, one, two, three, four, five. So 12 hits total. Can't be sad about that. A lot of great cards, stuff that I plan to add to my binder, to my decks. So now let's go ahead and put these guys in my binder. Okay, so here's the start of my Scarlet and Violet binder. I did set it up to put my uh, Karite on here on the front to represent the Scarlet Pokemon game. And then at the end of Scarlet and Violet, I have my on for Scarlet and Violet. So I thought that was a pretty cool way to set these up. But here's all of the cards. It is complete with all of the cards that I planned to collect from the Scarlet and Violet set. So here's what I got. I will flip the page for you guys to take a look at it. And let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty cool with just the illustration rares, the special illustration rares, just a few of the EXs, a few of the cards that I like the artwork for, all of the waifus, none of the gaifus here. I do love this section though. I put the Spidops and the ter Tarantula here because they kind of go together. I, I wish they would do more of this. This is actually pretty cool. I also put the Routes, Curlia, and the Gardevoir together here. Probably some of my favorite cards from that set. My boy Dondozo. And as you guys can see, I have a mix of Japanese and English cards because I don't mind mixing Japanese with English, as you guys will see also with my um, Paldea Evolved set. Um, so at the end, I have the gold cards, and then I have a few of the promo cards that I like the artwork for. So after the end of Scarlet and Violet, we have a few promos that I like, and there's the end of Scarlet and Violet base set. Now moving on, the first card I'm gonna put here is gonna be the uh, Pikachu that we get from the ETB. So that's why I left that space there. But then continuing on, it kind of goes in order from how you guys see the cards in the player's guide in numerical order. So you guys see, first card is Fortress, Miascarada, and so forth. There are a few cases where they are not in that order just because I think 
I want to put some cards next to each other. I'll explain that here in a bit, but here's what I have so far. It's, oh shoot, let me put these cards in order so that I know where I need to put what. All right, so I'm going to put this with me just so I know where to put the cards. But first one, Wu Chain. He's going to go over here next to the Meow Scarada. Go ahead and mark this off. The next one is going to go into the illustration rares, which starts about right here. And here's where there's a little bit of moving cards around. So first is actually the Sprigatito set, but I actually put the Sprigatito over here so that I can have all the starters on one page. Um, so the first one we see here is Pyroar, which is right... Where is Pyroar? Oh, Pyroar is right there, which means Fletchinger goes right before him. So we can put this guy right about there. Going on to the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce, I do have to go to the next page. And the Dunsparce is actually gonna go after the Fairy Giraffe. So I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like here. And my Fairy Giraffe is right there. So the Dunsparce goes right next to that guy, right there. Next up is Lycanroc EX. So we turn the page. Uh, this one's empty right here. So the last card was the Chi Yu. Chi Yu is right there. So after Chi Yu, I actually flip these so that I have all the starters next to each other. So after that will be the Chen Pao, the Belly Boat, the Slowpoke, Dendene. That's these first four. Then we got one, two. So this is gonna be the second card in the second row. Moving on to Grusha. Well, after Lycanroc EX, we got Annihilate and Cloud Sire taking up this spot. Then we got Noivern, Squawkabilly. Dendra, this full art version. And then after Dendra is Grusha. So Grusha is gonna go right here. And you guys, I just realized this Dendra is the special illustration rare. This is the special <laughs> illustration rare. So we did pull one. I don't know why I thought it was the full art. This is the full art right here. I personally like the full art more, but yeah, we did get a special illustration rare. I was all sad for nothing. So we did get everything that I was expecting to pull. My bad guys. I, I don't know why I was just expecting my special illustration rare to be a Pokemon card but I forgot the trainers can also be special illustration cards. So uh, here's where I'm also moving things around because after the full art trainer cards were supposed to be the Pokemon uh, special illustrations, but I I want to put all of the uh, trainer cards next to each other. So, so after Grusha, it's Iono, which goes right there. And then after Iono, we're going to jump to the next one, which is the Dendra. So Dendra is going to go right here. And then after Dendra, we put the Grusha special illustration and then the Iono special illustration, taking up this whole spot right here and these two spots. So yeah, I just want to put them all next to each other. And then the rest of these are cards I already have. So no need to put these in the binder. So that's going to do it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys understood how I go about putting cards into my binder. I know it's a little bit confusing when I move cards around, but that's the way that I'm doing it. That's the way that I'm enjoying collecting for the Scarlet and Violet era. Uh, let me know how you guys are collecting for this era. The easiest thing would just be to complete the full master set, but I don't want to do that. Um, I'd rather just collect it this way. That way I don't have to worry about getting every single card. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.